In the last thousand years or so, there have been some interesting attempts to spice up the English language by adding new punctuation marks. Let's take a look at some of these and see if any of them could be worth adding to your arsenal. This is the snark mark, the official symbol of sarcasm in English. Or more realistically, one of the many punctuation marks that claims to be. Other contenders for this title include an up arrow, these marks called sarcastices, and even one which I won't be talking about today because it's a registered trademark of a company called Sarcasm Incorporated? French writer Hervé Bazin decided in 1966 that his language needed not one, but six new punctuation marks. He introduced his own symbols for acclaim, authority, certainty, doubt, irony, and love. Unfortunately, they never became accepted as a part of broader culture. In contrast, the interrobang is a favorite among obscure punctuation fans. This mark, which combines a question mark and an exclamation point, can be easily copy-pasted yourself with a quick Google search. 